What's going on all you gamers? Today we're going to be going over a little more Elden Ring and today I'm going to be showing you which I believe is the best early way in order to grab those upgrade stones and of course a little bit of glintstone scrap in order to make your crafting and upgrading a little bit easier and make yourself a bit more powerful early game. So if that interests you then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, for things gaming, for things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today, if you want to know an area that you should definitely visit early game in order to make yourself a little bit stronger, in order to upgrade a bit of equipment easy as well, then why not hit up this place right here, the Limegrave Tunnels. What you're going to do is make your way around the outside, go in the front entrance, and from here you'll go in and go down the kind of makeshift elevator. Just inside there you're going to find a site of grace you want to activate and then you'll be able to make your way back here or you'll be able to spawn here if you die and it will just make the whole encounter a little bit easier. After that you're going to make your way through the network of tunnels but don't worry it is quite easy to navigate. Also you're going to want to keep a keen eye out because there are a lot of resources in here and there's quite a few enemies that you'll probably want to take care of just so that they don't hit you in the back and such. Keep an eye out for the miners, you'll probably hear them before you even see them, they're going to be whacking the wall with their pickaxes and such, and what you'll be trying to grab hold of is what they're hitting, and that's going to be these right here. I found that smithing stones are actually really hard to get hold of, and having a location like this that I believe rewards you with around about 10 or so is just perfect for this very very early game encounters. Also as you make your way through, you're going to find other such goodies such as the glintstone scrap, and I believe there's one or two large glintstone scraps as well. As an added bonus, what you want to do is keep an eye out for everything. If you can come here with a torch, that'd be better. I didn't have one this early in the game, but it definitely would work in your favour and make things a little bit easier. Also, there is a kind of alternative route you can go, so what you're going to want to do is watch out for one of the lifts, and rather than making your way all the way down to the bottom, which you probably will want to do to farm the resources, but what you also want to do at some point will be to jump straight off the midsection and make your way to the kind of hidden area where there's an optional boss that will also reward you with a really, really nice raw medallion, so a talisman you can equip. Definitely worth knowing this location, definitely worth coming here early, and definitely worth beating this boss in order to grab up something that you may well be using well late into the game, depending on your build and such. I believe it works best in faith builds, but have a little look, see what you think, and hopefully this will help you guys and girls out upgrading yourself a little bit earlier on than you should have. As always gamers, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.